Hey, you guys, welcome to Math Intervention with Miss Glover for May 1st, 2020. You guys, it's the last month of school. I hope you guys are excited. Let's get going. So the question is, 61 equals a number plus 31. This looks an awful lot like what we did last time. I hope you guys remember our strategies. Parents, please give your child time to solve this problem and to, um, and then once they've solved the problem, please resume the video. So how do we solve this? First, we need to look at the numbers that were given, and then we need to think how can we quickly find out what number plus 31 equals 61. And then we need to know if it makes sense. That is the most important one. Does it make sense? I know some of you guys may remember this from the last slide, but this is super, I mean the last video, but it's super important to, to narrow out what makes sense and what doesn't make sense. So we have a new strategy and it's called the plug it in strategy. And we used it in the last video and we're gonna use it again in this video because in all honesty, I think that this is something that can really help you become problem, like excellent problem solvers. Like, does this even work? Not just in math, but in other aspects of learning. Does it work? So plug it in, take each answer and see if it works, but only if it makes sense. All right, you guys. So let's try this out. So. Does it make sense? So 30 plus 31 equals 61. Hmm, well, 30 is less than 61. So there's a possibility that this could make sense. So let's go ahead and say, yes, this does make sense. So we're not gonna cross this one out. Let's keep going. Does 31 make sense? Uh, yeah, that's pretty plausible too. So 31 is less than 61. And if I'm just looking at the numbers, that both kind of makes sense. It could work. Both of them could happen. So yes. Now let's see the third choice. 61. Oh, hmm. Is 61 less or more than 61? Ha, that was a trick question. I got you. So 61 is exactly equal to 61. So if we add anything to 61, it's automatically going to be greater than 61. So I know uh, just by no, having that knowledge in my head that that's not going to work. So no, no, it doesn't make sense. Let's go ahead and cross it out. And the last answer choice, 92. Is 92 lesser or greater than 61? It's greater. So because we know that it's greater, if we add, it's already over the amount that we need to equal. So there's no way possible that adding anything to 92 is going to equal 61 because again, it's already bigger than the number that we want to end up with. It's already greater. So let's go ahead and cross that out. So let's look. <clears throat> what do we have left? Well, we only have two answer choices that somewhat make sense. So let's look at those answer choices and see if we can plug it in and let's use our strategy, our plug it in strategy and see which one works. So let's solve the vertical way using 31. So parents, please pause the video to allow your child time to solve this problem the vertical way using the answer choice 31. All right, and so let's get started. So 31 plus 31 
1 plus 1 equals 2. And 3 plus 3 equals 6. Oh, we're close, but we're not quite there. It's, it's not quite there. But let's do our math one more time. Um, doing it the arrow way to see if we did our math correctly. So let's go ahead and solve it the arrow way. Parents, please pause the video to allow your child time to solve this problem, the arrow way. And then please resume the video. All right, so I'm gonna write 31 because that's the number that we're working with. I'm gonna break it down into 20, 10, and one. So let's go ahead and add 20 to 31. And then if we add 20 to 31, we get 51. And then let's add in the 10. 51 plus 10 equals 61. And let's go ahead and add in the 1. 61 plus 1 equals 62. Uh, we got the same answer twice. So I know that the answer choice for 31 can't really be it. So now let's see, let's solve this using 30. Parents, please um, allow your child to solve this the vertical way using 30. All right, so let's see. 31 plus 30 equals well, 0 plus 1 is 1 and 3 plus 3 is 6 so we got 61 you guys that looks like the correct number to me and let's go ahead and solve this now using the arrow way parents please pause the video to allow your child to solve this video using the uh, solve this answer using the arrow way and uh, with the number 30. All right, so here we go again. I'm gonna break down 30 into 10 and 20. We're gonna decompose it. And then 31 plus 10 equals 41. And then 41 plus 20 equals 61. So we know that we have an answer. Now let's go ahead and look at the answer choices. So we know that 61 plus a specific number, I mean not 61 plus, you guys, sorry. 61 equals a specific number plus 31. So what number is the correct answer? 31 plus what equals 61? Ah, 30. Good job. Good job. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoy your weekend. Stay happy and safe. And hopefully the weather outside isn't too bad. Bye.